Pasadena today and we're checking out some film locations from the original Halloween movie from 1978. The first one, I don't know if you can recognize this, is Laurie Strode's house. What's amazing about this house, you'll find that a lot of film locations are actual residential places that people actually do live in and most of them will have a do not trespass or something which is fair enough because it's private property but this house actually encourages you to come up and visit. They leave this here year round, not just Halloween. So that you can grab a pumpkin and sit on the stoop out there and recreate the scene from Halloween. We're now here at the Myers house, which I'm very excited about. This is the house from the beginning of the movie when Michael's a child, the one where he murders his sister Judith. So it's been painted blue since then. What's funny is the house used to actually be just down this street here. Back when they filmed it in 1978, the two houses next to it ended up getting bulldozed back in the 80s. And this house was also going to be bulldozed, but a fan found out about it and bought their house for one single dollar back around 1987, I believe. All he had to do was get it moved, and it literally moved it right just down the street. And here it still stands today. That's good. Right next door to the Myers house is the Sugar Mint Gallery. Right now they have a Halloween exhibition going on. I think they might do that every year actually. So we might go in and have a look.
these out here like I'm I'm pretty sure they're showing most of the Halloweens throughout the month of October famous hedge that Michael Myers comes out from behind. <sighs>